so unsurprisingly the NXT update procedure is causing a few problems so I'm going to run through it for people so they can see how it's done hopefully successfully because it's not always worked 100% of the time for me either um, so these are the things or some of the things that you're going to need um, you're going to need obviously your NXT and you're going to need um, a USB cable and it's this kind that you need so it's, it's not the USB C, the new symmetrical one, it's the one that's the, uh, the, I guess the kind of like the D sort of shape there. So old style like Android phones used to use these all the time. Now the problem is, is that you're going to need one that's capable of transmitting data as well as just a charging signal. And there's loads of these around that are just sold at gas stations uh, and that kind of thing. And they're just uh, for charging your phone and you need a data cable otherwise you won't get a COM port later on and it won't work so that's important to get right and you're also going to need an SD card and the SD card has to be under 32 gigabytes so I'm using this 8 gigabyte one that I got with my 3D printer and you're also going to need a, um, a device to copy to the SD card um, and beyond that you're going to need a, a PC computer um, this is just going to be for the PC update. I think you can do it on Macs, but I don't use bloody Macs, so um, If someone else wants to make a video on how to do it via a Mac, then uh, that, that would be appreciated So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the update and uh, all of the updates are held on the bitbucket.org site and you want to download the latest version. Um, I'm going to show you downloading this NXT 5.5 one. Um, the latest one you're going to want to download, I think it's going to be 7.0 and above. Um, but anyway, I'll say so if you click on this one, it will download the file, it'll download it here, and it'll put it in your downloads folder. And it'll be what's called a zip file. So if you've not used zip files before, it's like an archive file, and it contains all the other files that you'll need. So you'll need to right click on this and for me it's extract all, you might have a different option but you want to extract all of these files and it'll tell you to do it. So you click on extract down here and it will extract all of the items within that folder and it'll give you it here. So this will be the NXT update and this is what it looks like and there are various parts to this. So if I open it up, there's some software in it, and the software is called Xloader, um, and that loads one part of the update for you. And the other part of the update is something that you copy to the micro SD card that I talked about, and it's this NXT GFX.tft, um, and you need to copy this file to your micro SD card. And then this part here is the software, and it's called Xloader. And this software here, um, this loads the other part of the update onto the file, and we'll talk about that. Well, as I can't even talk. We'll talk about that as well later in the video. Um, so yeah, we go back here, and then in here, this enum.hex file. This is what you want to open up with the software here. So anyway, I'm going to close this down, um, and we'll get on with the actual update itself every time that changes I'll just post uh, a new direct link to that because it can be a bit of a pain in the butt to get onto the the Bitbucket site sometimes um, but if you can log on to the Bitbucket site it is quite useful because you can also create issues on there if you have uh, a problem with uh, with any particular part of the NXT system um, and in that way we can then work on that issue and try and create a resolution for it you're going to want to extract your uh, NXT from the uh, from the case this is quite an early development model but it does have the tape on that most of the, uh, the later models have and it can hide some of the bits that you're going to need so the USB is here and it's on the opposite side to where the cable connects it to the wiring harness and then the SD card slot is on the screen here and it's on this side so it's on the opposite side 
to where the wire comes out for the harness. So effectively, it's on the bottom of bottom left of the screen, um, as you would see it on your bike. So once you've got it copied to the uh, the SD card, you need to put the the SD card in the slot there, and then you also need to plug the USB into the back of the NXT there. And then the next thing, what you've got to do from there is you've got to hook it up into your laptop, and I'll try and do this without knocking it on the floor. It's kind of hard with one hand, but yeah, as soon as you get this all the way around. As soon as you plug this in here, it'll boot up and it'll say SD card updating and then it's going to copy the file onto the SD card and this takes like, I don't know, a couple of minutes usually. So anyway, I'm going to stop it. I'm not going to make you watch the entire like 100% because it's kind of ridiculous. So once the upload is complete it's going to say check data 100% update success and then it's at this point that you want to go to the package that you unzipped and you want to go into the X loader into the program folder and double click on X loader exe and it's going to bring you up this little tiny window here and you're going to need to point it at the folder that you want to upload um, in this case I've got it pointed to the the 6.1, which is in uh, a different folder, but you, you want to point to the, the hex file that you want to upload to the NXT um, and select it there. And you want to make sure that you have it on the AT Mega 2560 and the baud rate at 115200. And the COM port is going to be probably different for your computer, depending on which one you're on. But for me, it's uh, COM port 8. And then you just click on upload here and it will say uploading and you just wait and it's not going to do anything on the NXT at all uh, everything's going to be up on here and it will say uploading and then pretty soon it will say uploading complete yep two seven four five two bytes uploaded uh, and that's it finished that's the update done it will say the same there and you can simply unplug the NXT and you should be good to go. So I guess the biggest things that can go wrong with this process are, um, first of all, having a USB cable that, that works correctly. Um, if it's not a data cable, it's not gonna work with this at all and you're just gonna get frustrated. Um, the second one is this COM port and it can show up sometimes where there's no COM port available and sometimes you can get past it um, by closing down all software that you're not using currently and unplugging stuff that you might have in your computer already. Uh, a COM port is just basically a communication between your computer and something else be it a peripheral or in this case the, the NXT. Um, so if it's not showing you can do that and sometimes it works. If it doesn't, it's likely um, that the USB drivers on your machine are out of date. Um, I use a piece of software here called uh, Driver Easy, and that um, just basically updates the drivers on my system and periodically I update it. So if I upload it here, uh, it's telling me that there are 18 drivers available and computer hardware producers regularly update the drivers and the drivers are what make the various bits of your computer work so this USB port on the side of your computer uses a driver and if it's not the right one or if it's out of date it might not be able to make that communication to your to your NXT so yeah I use this driver easy I'm sure there are other stuff or other software out there but this one seems to work fine for me um, if none of those things seem to fix your problem and it's not updating for you um, head online um, you can go to the messenger chat room and there's a few people that have done plenty of these Danny in particular total expert on it now um, it it can take a little while to get used to it but um, once you've done it once or twice you should be fine um, just 